Hey guys, I've been getting a ton of questions about whether or not dogs can get sick with COVID-19, can they pass it on to their owners, and while I'm not a vet, I'm gonna answer some of those questions today, as well as giving you some really important truths about how to keep you and your pet safe during a time of quarantine. To make this happen, I've collabed with someone really special. It's my good friend, the Bear Paul. Hi, New Village. Definitely stay tuned until the end of this video, because Bear and I are gonna open some of your packages that you've sent to this the P.O. box. Yeah, it took a pandemic for me to visit the post office to pick up my packages. All right, let's get started with tip number one. From what we know now, there is no evidence showing that dogs can get sick with COVID-19. There have been a few dogs that have tested positive for COVID, but it's been thought that the reason they're testing positive is they have some of the virus on their mouth, on their nose, likely from the owners that they've licked who were COVID positive. That being said, if you have COVID-19, Definitely do your part by staying away from your pet just in case. Number two, dogs like humans need a routine. They like to be fed at the same times, walked at the same times, played with at the same times. The more you could stick to this routine, the better behavior you're gonna get from your pup. Number three, social distancing applies not only to you, but to your pup as well. When I walk bare, everybody wants to play with it. But now more than ever, I have to respectfully ask that people stay six feet away. God forbid they sneezed or coughed on their hands, gotten the virus on their hands, pet bear, I pet him and I transfer the virus to my body. It's a no-go. Try and do your best to keep your pets away from other people. Number four, say no to dog parks. I love watching Bear play with other pups, especially small ones like little French bulldogs. But during a time like this, the last thing you want is one of the dogs who potentially licked one of their owners who has COVID, then plays with your dog, and then brings the virus home to you. Number five, wipe your pup's paws. Now this one is more on the really safe side. If you have someone elderly in your home or someone who's immunocompromised and you really wanna take that extra step to be careful, go ahead and wipe those paws down. Remember, these respiratory droplets that people release into the air eventually make their way to the ground. And if your pup's been walking around on the street, they can potentially bring that virus home. Number six, keep an eye out for stressed out pups. With kids being home from school, many people out of work, dogs are getting a lot more playtime. And while initially that's a good thing, sometimes it could tire them out. They also do a great job at picking up on our body language. You may feel stressed out, but you think you're not showing it, trust me, your dog knows. Some ways dogs show stress is by yawning, acting erratically, or even having accidents after being properly potty trained. In those scenarios, give your dogs a timeout. Put them in their crate or safe space for them to chill out. Number seven, call for reinforcements if you're sick. The last thing you should be doing is leaving your home if you're experiencing COVID-19 symptoms. But remember, your pup needs daily walks. So ask a friend or loved one to take the pup off your hands until you recover. Number eight, consider a televisit for your pet. Many veterinary practices across the nation have been offering these televisits. So call ahead to your vet, just like you do with your family doctor. Number nine, don't overfeed your pup. You don't want your pup becoming obese and then increasing risks of all sorts of health problems. It's very easy when you're spending a lot of time at home to really increase the amount of treats you're giving. Don't do that. Treats should make up only 10% or less of a pet's diet. Number 10, train your pup. Know that a well-trained dog is a happy dog. And there's a few tips I have for you on that. First, keep the training session short. Dogs perform better that way. Two, use positive, not negative reinforcement. And finally, if you need help, don't be afraid to contact a dog trainer because there are virtual options available. Bear, are you excited to open up some packages? <laughs> All right, first one is from Manchester, UK. Oh, it has, it has like a, a wax seal. I've never seen him this excited. Dear Mike, I deeply enjoy watching your YouTube channel in my free time. It takes me back to my childhood years where my family and I moved to New York City when I was also six years old. Just like you, we lived there for an amazing five years. High five. Ooh, some green tea from Witter Chelsea. It's a little bit beat up, but we need a little green tea to keep us going. This is from Nebraska. Hi doc, firstly, I just wanna say thank you for your content lately and keeping us informed regarding COVID. And I'm an orthodontic resident with a side hustle. My small shop is called V Cotere, and I make enamel pins for health professionals. I love this one. It's a prescription pad that says, no bad days. Oh, <gasps> there's a puppy with a stethoscope on it. Bear, this is you. Danger test, if it's dangerous, bark. This is really high skill level. Look at that. This entire drawing is by hand. Oh, it's a picture of Roxy. Bear doesn't care because he doesn't want to miss Roxy too much, but I love it. Thank you, Natalie. Bear, this one's for you. It's a pet first aid kit. Bear, are you excited? 
No, seriously, this is really thoughtful. Whoever sent this, thank you. I will probably keep this in my car when Bear and I go hiking. You know, it's very easy for them to cut their paws when they go hiking and to have this kind of kit available and on hand is huge. Wow, look at the packaging on this. This is legit. Whatever it is, it's good. Two hours later. This is next level. There's a picture of me on Instagram. I'm gonna pop it up right here. This is that picture painted on a leaf. The talent level to draw this on a leaf. Someone designed an anatomically very accurate human body with yarn. That's next level. It's all sorts of books for kids. Hello, Dr. Mike, we love you. I just wanna start with that, LOL. At Imaginary Pages, we know some of your patients are children. We would love it if you could gift these books to them. They don't know this. Bear's God. We actually have an early reading program in my medical office where these books are gonna be given to children who cannot afford to buy their own books. And some of these books are beautiful. In Spanish? Do they know that half of my patients in one of my offices speak primarily Spanish? My pet wants a pet. Thank you so much for all the gifts for me and Bear. I want you to check out a playlist that I put together of me with all my pet videos. Click here, or if you wanna have yourself a great laugh, check out my last Onion Headline video. <laughs> that one's a really a laughing, busting video. Don't know what I'm saying, it's kinda late at night, but stay happy and healthy.